Time's been moving slowly So we already in too deep Can't get no sleep On each other heavy Teasing all day Nivia, are you okay? Uh, uh, I, I think so. He missed me. I'm sure he missed on purpose. Let's make a point. That coward. I can't believe he would do this to you. I'm done running, Aaliyah. This is personal now. I won't stop until I bring his ass to the ground. Yo, what's going on out here? I heard gunshots. It's Alonzo. He came here and shot at Nivea. Fuck! I can't protect you like this, baby. Not with... you know. Say, honey, you don't have to protect me from everything. We'll figure this out together. And I'll handle Alonzo. I won't let him get away with this. Thank you, Nivia. Just be careful. I will be. Trust me. Love's for beginners. Ain't no witness. It slips through your fingers. I ain't telling no lies. So F all the drama. F the karma. Just do what you wanna. Promise you got I know it's taxing, but... You must be particular about this. There are too many mistakes here on this report. There's no way we can turn this in. So you have to really pay attention and just take your time. Don't stress. Can I help you? You're Desmond's mistress, aren't you? I think you have the wrong impression. Folly, is it? Desmond and I are colleagues. Nothing more. Spare me the lies. I know all about your little affair. I understand that this is a difficult time for you, but I assure you, there's nothing between Desmond and me except a professional relationship. Don't you dare lie to my face. I've seen the messages, the calls. Amara, can you excuse us, please? It'll only take a moment. Dolly. I think it's best if we approach this conversation with the level head. Accusations won't get us anywhere. You don't know who you're dealing with. If you think you can just waltz in and ruin my family, you've gravely mistaken. I have no intention of ruining anyone's family, Valley. But if you continue to threaten me, I won't hesitate to take action to protect myself and my reputation. Don't forget about the other night. I missed you once. But bitch, I won't miss again. You don't scare me, bitch. I'm not trying to scare you, honey. I'm simply asking you for understanding and cooperation, especially at my place of business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am in the middle of a meeting. See yourself out. <laughs> this isn't over. You'll regret getting involved with my husband, Ho. Get out of my office. Yo, did you see the look on the district attorney's face, Evan? Priceless. They ain't got shit on us anymore. Fucking snakes. You were brilliant in court too, babe. Makes me want to taste you for real. <laughs> Thanks, babe. We will have time for that later. Avante, I've been thinking. Oh, here we fucking go. Ev, you know the risk involved in what I do. I can't have you getting mixed up in all this. 
But I want to help you, Avante. I want to be more than just your partner. Evan, I appreciate your loyalty, but this isn't a game. It's dangerous out there, and I can't risk losing you. You're my world, my baby. I can handle it, Avante. I've proven myself in court, and I can handle whatever comes my way. Look, I know you're capable, but I can't bear the thought of anything happening to you. I understand, Avante. I don't want to put you in a difficult position. You are everything to me, Ev. I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe. I love you, boy. I love you too. I'm getting involved one way or another. Make love to me. Can you believe this? Another day wasted at home, buried in textbooks and worksheets. This is bullshit. Lexi, you know mom and dad just want what's best for us. What's best for us? Being cooped up in here while the whole world is out there? It's suffocating, Asha. Maybe we could talk to them about it. They might not realize how we feel. No, it's pointless. They're convinced homeschooling is the answer to everything. Just like they were convinced that stupid party is the reason why we can't go back to school. We both know that the other people from that party went back to school. Yeah, but Lexi, that boy getting shot like that, it's like a nightmare we can't wake up from. And it's not just the shooting, it's dad too. Cheating on mom like that? How could he? People make mistakes, Lexi. Maybe there's more to it than we know. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty we don't know. Like Henry, for instance. Remember him? Henry? Who's that? The guy mom had over during the summer. Remember? The one dad didn't seem too happy about. When dad walked in, her whole body tensed up. Oh, yeah. I remember him. That's the night dad was supposed to get home late from work. But... Mom said he was just a friend. A friend who stays over until early hours in the morning? Come on, Asha. We're not stupid. So you think mom cheated on dad? You know what? It's starting to make sense now, isn't it? Maybe dad's betrayal was just a reaction to mom's. But that doesn't make it right. I know. I'm going to ask him. Here we go. Desmond... I don't think it's a good idea for you to go see Dolly. She's unpredictable, and you know how she can be. She came in here like a bat out of hell, causing all that ruckus. I can't just let her waltz in here, causing chaos like she always does. I need to set things straight. I but, mean. Desmond, every time you two interact, it ends in disaster. I can't keep being caught in the crossfire. You should have seen the way she was antagonizing me. Boy, I tell you, if I wasn't at work, I would have whooped her ass right in this office. Risk it all. I know, and I'm sorry you've been dragged into this mess, but I can't stand by and watch her tear everything apart. 
everything I'm trying to build with you. I need you to listen to me. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep waiting for you to sort out your problems with Dolly while I'm stuck in limbo. It's not fair for her or me. Ani, please. I love you. You know that. I just need some time to finalize my divorce. And then we can move forward together. Time is something we do not have. Desmond, Dolly won't go down without a fight. And I refuse to be collateral damage. Then what do you suggest? You need to make a choice, Desmond. Either you deal with Dolly once and for all, or you let her go and focus on us. But I can't keep waiting in the shadows while you try to untangle your past. I'm leaving. Fuck. Dolly, why the fuck did you come to Ani's office today? You had no right to. Oh, Desmond, dear. Always oh, so dramatic. I just wanted to say hello to your little girlfriend. Is that a crime? You know what? Fuck it. Dolly, Ani and I are together now, and you need to accept that. Oh, Desmond, you're adorable when you're trying to be assertive, but I'm afraid I can't accept anything of the sort. We're still married after all. I'm out of here. Don't you dare walk away from me, Desmond. You're mine, remember? Dolly, girl, what you doing? Please, put the gun down. Let's talk about this calmly. I told you, Desmond. You belong to me. I won't let you leave. This shit is over, Dolly. <laughs> what the fuck? Dolly, you crazy. What have we become? If you come near me or Ani again, there's no telling what I'm capable of. I mean that shit this time. Stay the fuck away from us. Fucker. Broken. Henry, we should have gotten married back in the day. I still miss your cooking. It was so delicious. And oh my God. That lasagna you would make, and that bread you would just, ooh. Linux, we should have gotten married. You should come over sometime. I'll whip up something very special for you. Only the best for my baby. Linux, I knew you were up to something. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Papa, did you follow me here? And you! You can't have my wife, Henry. Whoa, Papa. Calm down. We were just catching up. That's all. Please, both of you. Let's not make a scene. Henry, maybe it's best if you excuse yourself for now. It was good seeing you, Beth. Take care of yourself. We need to talk. Let's sort out whatever's between us before it leads to something we'll regret. Baby, I just, I just don't want to lose you. Then let's work on our marriage. Together. Together. I'm sorry, but I really had to make this drop before we go home. 
I can't do this anymore, Melo. I'm tired of living like this. What do you mean, Summer? You're never home, and when you are, it's like you're a million miles away. I can't keep living with a man who deals drugs for a living and doesn't even show his own wife affection. This is who I am. You knew that when you married me. I didn't sign up for this life. I want something better for our kids, for myself. Oh shit. Summer, get down. We need to get out of here. Those were my people. What the fuck is going on? They turning against me now? That's it, Molo. I'm done. I can't raise our kids like this. I'm taking them to Atlanta to live with my mom. No, Summer. You can't just take my kids away from me. I won't raise them in danger, Molo. It's not safe here. Please, Summer. We can figure this out together. I will change. I will do whatever it takes. Just don't take my kids away from me. I need to do what's best for our family, Molo. And right now that means leaving. T, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I miss how close we used to be before everything happened with Mikey. Yeah, well, things change, Aya. Can't force us to get along just because he's gone. I am not trying to force anything. I just want us to be here for each other. Especially with all that's going on right now. Oh, please. Spare me the acts. You're not the enemy, huh? No, T. I'm not. I'm your sister and I care about you. You care? <laughs> right. Just like how mom and dad care about me, huh? T, that's not fair. Mom and dad love you. Love me? Yeah, sure. That's why they barely talk to me. Act like I'm invisible because I'm gay. I know you felt neglected, but mom and dad, they're just struggling to understand. Understand? They don't want to understand. They'd rather pretend I don't exist. Maybe, maybe they just need time, T. How much more time do they need? I'm sick of it, Aya. Maybe I just hate them. Is that so hard to digest? Please don't say that. They're still our parents. Well, they sure don't act like it. Shit, you and I are more mature than they are. Let's not give up on each other, T. We can be there for each other, despite everything. I guess. We'll see. Baby, you seem distracted tonight. Christina, is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. Just a long day at the courthouse. You know how it is. Judge Christina, Tuesday? What are you both doing here? Ah, oh, Ivania. What a pleasant surprise. We're just here discussing some legal matters. Nothing for you to worry about. Legal matters at this hour in a restaurant? Judge, is everything all right? Ivanya, it's not what you think. I can explain. And you don't have to be so formal. We are not at work. I think that enough questions for now, Ivanya. 
You don't want to overstep your bounds, do you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'll leave you two to your... discussion. Christina, we need to be more careful. We can't risk anyone finding out about us. Especially not your husband. You're right, Tuesday. We have to be more discreet from now on. I hope Evangan does not say anything to anyone. I'll be back. Yo, Evanya, wait up. Let me make myself clear. You saw nothing tonight. If you value your job, your reputation, and your safety, you'll keep your mouth shut about what you saw here. Are you threatening me? I told you to stay away from her. You don't seem to care about her marriage, so why the fuck should I? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more important things to tend to, asshole. Come here. You will keep your mouth shut, bitch. You will let go of my arm. The last man to put his hands on me ended up in a body bag. Now get the fuck off me, you bastard. Fuck you. Rot in hell. Fuck you, bitch. You better keep your mouth shut. Dro, we need to talk. What's up, Mom? <sighs> I know things haven't been easy for us, especially since your dad left. But we can't keep going down this path. What path? What are you talking about, Mom? The drugs, Dro. Selling them. It's not who you are. But it's all I know. It's how I survive. No. Dro, we can find another way. A better way. I won't let you throw your life away like this. Man, Ma, you can't tell me nothing. You not even being honest with me. What do you mean? I heard you talking on the phone the other day. You were talking about the drugs and how you got Brittany involved. So you keeping things going, just not with me. You lied to me, Ma. You said Britt would never become involved with this shit. Dro, I was trying to protect you. It's your fault she's in this shit in the first place. You forced my hand. Protect me? From what? From the truth? I forced your hand? You were so full of shit, yo. Boy, I told you about your damn mouth. I... I need to tell you something. <sighs> Dro, your father. He might not be who you think he is. Papa Lennox, he might be your real father. Papa Lennox? But he's... Why are you telling me this now? Because we need to face the truth. No matter how painful it might be. And we need to find a way to move forward. Together. That's also one of the reasons I don't want you involved with drugs anymore. He asked me to... Man, Ma, I can't believe this. Papa Lennox, he's Lexi and Asha's dad. And I'm in love with Asha. You've been talking to him? Dro, I, I understand this is difficult for you, but Papa Lennox isn't Asha's real father. There's more to this story than you know. It's important that you listen to me. Listen, son, I love you, and I... So why tell me this now, Mama? I couldn't hold it in anymore. You deserve to know. Man, fuck! I'm out. Dro, wait, baby. I promise. I'll make this right. Nah, fuck all this. Fuck y'all, man. Ma, is it true? Not now, Brittany. Please go to your room. Ma, I know this is hard, but I'm here. Please don't push me away. I'll deal with Dro, Mama. Just hang in there. I love you. I love you too, baby. Right. I've had enough. 
I can't do this anymore. What are you talking about, Tara? We're supposed to be getting married. Not like this. We're not. I won't marry someone who's always controlling. Controlling? That's rich coming from you. You're the one who's always picking fights over every little fucking thing. I'm not picking fights, Ray. I'm standing up for myself because I'm tired of being treated like I'm less than. You act like everything's about you. Like I don't have feelings too. You know what? Ray? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm calling off the engagement. You can't do that. You promised me, Tara. I promised to marry the man I loved. Not someone who's constantly belittling me and tries to control me. Fine. If that's how you want it, then maybe we're better off without each other. But you never loved someone. But you never loved somebody like I just did. But you always I deserve better than this. Hurt the ones you say you saw. <sighs> I hope Gigi can shed some light on this mess. Me too, Cheryl. I don't know how much longer I can handle this. Look what the cat dragged in. My favorite troublemakers. It's good to see you too, Mama. Thanks for seeing us on such short notice. Nonsense. Family comes first, always. Now spill it. What's got you two all in a tizzy? It's Papa. Gigi, he's been difficult lately. I don't know what to do. Is that truly the case? Yes, Gigi. I don't know how to fix things anymore. I used to have all the answers back in the day, but now it's just a big roller coaster and I can't seem to make it stop. Well, darlings, sometimes a little tough love is what's needed. Maybe Papa's just trying to set you straight. But, Gigi. No buts, Cheryl. Sometimes we need to see things from a different perspective. He's been controlling Mama. And he cheated on me. Patrice doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. If you'll excuse me, I need to go give your husband a piece of my mind. I'll get that motherfucker straight today. Y'all ladies behave now. Thanks for stopping by to see an old gal. Mm -mm -mm. Chow, mama is still crazy. Bless her heart. I feel so sorry for the lashing she's about to give Papa. She's about to curse his ass out. Indeed she is, girl. Look who it is, Papa Lennox, the man who can't keep his promises. Paris, please let me explain. I know I messed up, but... Spare me the excuses, Papa. I'm not interested in your apologies anymore. You made your choice and now you have to live with it. I know I hurt you, Paris, and I'm sorry, but you have to believe me when I say I never meant for things to get this complicated. Complicated? Is that what you call it? You're married. How do you think she's going to feel when she finds out about us again? Paris, please. I love you. I know it's not enough to make up for what I've done. But I can't bear to lose you. Love? Don't you dare say that word to me, Papa. You don't get to use it as a shield for your lies and deceit. And by the way, Papa, I'm pregnant. But you never loved someone But you never loved somebody like I just did But you always hurt the ones 
Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with You don't know nothing, 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 nothing You don't know what it feels like Baby, I'm hurting, 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 hurting And you don't even ask why Why I'm staying up all night I haven't slept since you came into my life Why I'm drinking all the time Why I'm feeling lonely when you're here by my side I just want something, 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 something 